video is a little bit overdue, but welcome to the Harlem Renaissance. As I mentioned in class today, the Harlem Renaissance often goes by a different name, which is the New Negro Renaissance, per the title <clears throat> of a book by Alan Locke. It's also part of literary modernism, and I'll put these things in our too long to read list as well. Literary modernism essentially claims to break from the past and do things in a new and different way. So I don't know why my Blackboard page looks like this. It just wants to make me panic, but let me show you important things. Our class playlist, you can, I think, look at the recordings of the face-to-face -face class by going to collaborate and poking these three dots and choosing view all recordings. But I will also try to copy them for you in the event that Blackboard doesn't show you the same things that it shows me. However, the YouTube videos tend to be more short and sweet. And I jokingly like to say that, you know, depends on how, how difficult it is for you to fall asleep. So back to our content. This week, I put a whole bunch of stuff in this week one module. And this arrow allows you to close the week one module so that you can see the week two module. You can also click the name in order to see the module. And don't worry about clicking things because nothing will disappear or explode or start a timer. You, you always have multiple opportunities to open and look at anything that I put in the module. This is an eight minute YouTube video with a short quiz. This is a long video. I think it's two hours about the Apollo Theater. However, it offers some interesting background and information about Harlem. Ken Burns on Harlem in this section is pretty short, but the Ken Burns jazz documentary has a lot of great visuals and material about the Harlem Renaissance period. So it, when you look at this in Films on Demand, and you might have to log into the library to see it, you can look at the entire video. This is just a clip, jazz in Harlem. However, you can look at the entirety of the Ken Burns jazz which I can't exactly see how you click on it right now. Um, now, when those records started to come out, well, <laughs> then the rest of it is history. You could hear it. Everybody heard it. Let me try to remember to put that whole link. Oh, yeah. So there is, um, these are different things you can look at if you would like to see different parts of Ken Burns Harlem. And I will uh, suggest a few more clips and the link to the whole thing. You don't have to watch it all. You can just look at the parts that look appealing to you. So I think they might all be over here in clips. So like I said, you don't have to watch it all. Just find some parts that you find interesting. And I don't know why they show up multiple times. So back to our navigation. This quiz is about the Apollo. You don't have to watch all of the Apollo, but a lot of these questions relate to the importance of Harlem as a place. And then in these two discussions, one is about Langston Hughes' poem, Theme for English Bee. The other is just where you pick something that you found in one of the longer videos that you found interesting for the class to look at. This file, Course Readings, is something that we'll use more next week in a third discussion for next week that will be about those course readings and you'll be split into groups for those. I haven't created that discussion yet. I hope this helps you a little bit with the navigation and the last thing that I'm going to show you is although it's not yet available in week one there is 
something called the TLTR list right here in week two that goes over the main points and ideas. And I'll make one of those for week one as well. So again, welcome. So happy to see all of you. And let me know if you have questions. You can find my cell phone number in the syllabus. And there's also a OneDrive link to a syllabus that I update occasionally. My cell phone number is right there. Now I'm really going to sign off. Bye-bye.